When I say the phrase gaming PC, in your mind it probably evokes the thoughts of big powerful machines pumping out high frame rates at high resolutions. But one of the last things that probably pops in your mind is inexpensive. I've heard people say time and time again that gaming PCs are expensive and if you're on a tight budget and want a game you shouldn't even consider a gaming PC and go straight for a console. So where do I stand on this debate? Well I'm one of the people that believes that with enough time, effort, and persistence a gaming PC can be put together at almost any budget, even for as little as $100. Back in May of last year, I gave myself a challenge of putting together a PC for $100 that not only worked but could play games. Even though I did go over the budget by $6, what I ended up with was a PC that could play all the popular esports titles and even some more intensive games like Shadow of Mordor and GTA V. In that system, I had a Core 2 quad processor, 4GB of RAM, an HD7850 GPU with 1GB of VRAM, and a barely adequate 160GB hard drive. Link to that video which has proof of pricing for all those parts is in the description down below. Now you're probably saying to yourself, okay, well just because you can do it doesn't mean the rest of us can find deals like that and put together a PC for so cheap. But in reality, just search through YouTube and you'll find dozens of videos on PCs priced at $100 or less. For example, some buddies of mine just had a competition to see who could build the best PC for around $100. These YouTubers include Charles from Tech Always, Lee from CompTV, and Matt from the Toasty Bros. This competition is also being judged by OzTalks Hardware, who also has multiple sub $100 builds on his channel. These three builds from the competition are great examples of what you can do with a small budget and a lot of deal hunting. I definitely recommend checking them out as the performance they were able to get is beyond surprising. Links for all of the videos in the competition will be in the description description down below as well as in the card above. So I hope by now you are somewhat convinced or at least intrigued in the fact that a gaming PC for $100 could be done. But where would you even start? Well, something that I and others have found is that if you're on a very tight budget and you're looking to build a gaming PC, the absolute best way to get the most performance for the money is to buy a pre-existing OEM PC like an HP or Dell and upgrade it to fit your liking. So what kind of base system should you be looking for to upgrade into a budget beast? Well, the most common platform used for uber cheap builds is the Intel LGA 775 platform, which supports Core 2 Quad and Core 2 Duo CPUs. Now, ideally, you'll want to get a quad core processor, but if all you're playing is esports titles, a Core 2 Duo with a decent clock speed should do just fine. I know there are some AMD options out there for similar price and performance as Lee showed off in his $100 PC build, but I'm not as well versed in the older AMD platforms so I'm not sure as much as what to recommend. Now where can you look to find these systems and how much should you pay for them? So there are a few different places to look, my favorite is eBay, but you can also find local deals on Craigslist or even at local computer computer recycling centers. If your budget for a gaming PC is only $100, you should aim to only spend $50 on the base system. Try to avoid small form factor PCs that only support half height cards. Mid or full tower is the best way to go as it will give you the best chance all of your hardware will be compatible, but I still urge you to make sure what you're buying is compatible with the rest of your hardware before hitting the purchase button as nothing's worse than your new fancy graphics card showing up in the mail only for you to realize you don't have enough room for it in your system. The base system should include the CPU, motherboard, at least 4 gigs of RAM, a hard drive, a case, and a power supply. Once you have secured your base system, it's time to spend the last $50 you have on a graphics card and a power supply. These should be coordinated together because a GPU can either add a little or a huge load onto your power supply with some cards like the GTX 750 and 750 Ti not even requiring an external power connector and are known to run very well on even the included OEM power supplies. To find the right GPU for you, look up cards that fit in your price range and make sure the benchmarks online meet or at least come close to the performance you're looking for. If the card meets your expectations and your power supply can support the extra load of the GPU, then you're ready to hit the purchase button. Like I said before, if you're purchasing a power hungry card, you'll need to also upgrade the power supply. Look for at least a 400 or 500 watt power supply from a reputable manufacturer like EVGA or Corsair, which you can usually find for around $20 after rebate. So once you have purchased all of your parts and made sure they all work together, it's time to assemble. There are plenty of tutorials online of how to build a PC, but for this all you need to do is install the new power supply and the graphics card. And boom, you're done. Some welcome future upgrades would be more RAM and a larger hard drive. 
Also, you could always upgrade to a quad-core processor in the future if you started out with a dual-core and your motherboard supports it. So yeah guys, I hope that you've seen that it's not only possible to build a gaming PC for around $100, but it's also repeatable. I know this video was kind of general, but if you have any specific questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comment section down below. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.